My name is Neil Goodmanstead. I'm a distinguished professor of plant pathology at North Dakota State University. I have two primary research uh, areas that I'm uh, working on currently with ZebraChip. The one area that uh, is really intriguing, it's basically molecular based, is looking at pathogenic and uh, genetic variability in the Levirobacter solanaceum, the causal organism of a zebra chip. What we believe is that there are two different pathotypes. Uh, we're pretty excited about that work uh, because we believe that there is an avirulent form of the Levirobacter uh, that causes zebra chip that doesn't cause zebra chip, but it does survive in the psyllid, and it, we believe it's probably just an endosymbiont and the original wild type endosymbiont. Then we believe that there's a second type, pathotype, that is basically uh, is virulent and is the actual true cause of zebra chip. And so we talked a little bit about that, uh, that uh, data. What um, I'm also working on are with, with some colleagues, Charlie Rush at Texas A&M, is looking at the implications of other hosts uh, as reservoirs of inoculum for the zebra chip pathogen and whether or not psyllids uh, can acquire that pathogen from those weeds. Um, early studies that we published last year uh, in conjunction with Charlie Rush's group uh, showed that 22% of the silverleaf nightshade, for instance, in Texas does harbor the uh, zebra chip bacterium. Uh, we're extending that work uh, the, this past year and extending that work not only into Texas but up into Nebraska and not looking at just silver leaf nightshade, but a number of other solanaceous hosts. Uh, an exciting uh, piece of work that was reported uh, recently was about the uh, wide host range of this bacterium in New Zealand across other families. And so we're excited to uh, take a look at those families, those plant families here in, in Texas and in Nebraska to determine whether or not they could also be potential reservoir hosts.